For this hunt, Tim is using a Sauer 404 in 308, and his kit of choice is Harkila. Our guide spots sheep very early, but they're on the move. They're not as fleet of foot as Mouflon, but they certainly make mountain climbing look easy. We, on the other hand, are struggling. The rock is loose and the vegetation is really sharp. Day two and we're joined by Fernando's cousin. Tim will have the first opportunity, but if there's another, a second animal will be taken. This time there's a lot less climbing as the animals are across the ridge from us. This is a hardy animal and the 308 hits it hard. Another shot presents itself and Fernando's cousin also gets a mature female. And there's a lot more on the on the on the on the four legs. Looks like the, like the impala. Yes. Over at the second animal, the bullet has been retrieved. Fernandez cousins just uh, shot a, uh, a seven-year-old ewe, and he and he shot it through the shoulder. So the bullet came through the shoulder, went straight through the body cavity, and it was actually lodged in the skin on the other side of the beast. He's shooting with a seven um, seven or eight, I think, by the sounds of it probably about 140 grain bullet and uh, we've got the bullet we'd actually found it and it's pretty retained I'll say guessing at this probably about 80% of its, uh, its weight so it's, it's quite a heavy penetrative bullet I've got no idea what bullet it is I don't really know but it just shows you basically two things is how important to have a bullet which, which can penetrate a beast and um, secondly how tough a uh, a barbary sheep is. They do take some uh, knocking down sometimes. So it's quite interesting just to see, just dig the bullet out of the animal and just have a look at it. It tells you an awful lot about basically the ammunition, your placement and the, and the path it goes through the beast. So it's just an interesting thing just to, to notice. 